But you can see the range we have with this lamp and we haven't even made any adjustments up here either with that ball head. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, we're gonna be checking out the BenQ e-reading lamp with swivel arm. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here showing some really cool use cases for this desk lamp. And we have multiple color options available as well. Gold and blue on the front, and you can see we have a silver and red or pink salmon, whatever you wanna call it, on the back side. This lamp is really wide, so 1.5 times the illumination of your conventional lamp, so it's casting the light 35 inches for you. Intelligent detection as well, so it can detect the ambient light in your room and adjust the brightness and color temperature accordingly, helping to prevent strain and unnecessary fatigue for your eyes. And lastly, it's tailor-made for you, you can use the manual control knob up at the top and adjust things however you see fit. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, you can see we have our product information right here with our quick start guide walking us through assembly depending on the base stand that you have and how to get everything properly installed. Then you can see we have our controls right here, how to turn it on, how to adjust everything manually or take advantage of the auto dimming modes with your two different indicator lights. Next, you can see we have our included installation tool, our power supply, our really heavy duty base. This thing is super heavy. It's got to weigh at least 10 pounds. And lastly, you can see we have the light itself with our swivel arm already attached right out of the box. And we have our matching silver power cable and cord right here. Now let's go ahead, let's get everything installed. It's really simple to get everything installed. You can see we're gonna go ahead, set the lamp and the swivel arm on the base right here. And then we're gonna fasten this screw in on the back with the included tool and that's it. So go ahead, just gently press it in place. So there we go, it's nice and snug. And now we're ready to come back behind it and just gently tighten everything down and in place. We want that again, nice and snug. So there we go. You can see we even have a nice swivel effect as well. And we're able to pick it up and know that it's not going to become detached from the base. But I would highly recommend if you ever do move this around, you do not want that to come loose and to drop it on your foot or anything like that, even just damaging your floor. So if you ever have to move this, use two hands and move it at the base. Now let's go ahead and let's plug the lamp in and look at it in more detail. So we got the lamp plugged in, let's go ahead, let's power it on. You can touch anywhere you want on the ring to turn it on or off, it's very responsive. Yeah, I mean anywhere, look, I'm touching the inside now, we just turned it off and we can turn it right back on. Everything looks great, high quality construction with the materials that they use. So we have a nice aluminum alloy construction and obviously we have this silver color up top. This just screams premium and it looks really nice. I like the modern aesthetic that it has. It's just a really unique and cool, I would say centerpiece and showpiece for your desk, end table, nightstand, anything along those lines. And very versatile, because with this light, you can see we can swivel it around if we want. We can adjust the height right down or up. So we can go really high too. Don't want to hit the cameras or anything, but you can see the range we have with this lamp and we haven't even made any adjustments up here either with that ball head so that we can give us some tilt and some additional options there as well however we want to rotate it however we see fit so really nice construction everything looks great and most importantly it's working great so now let's go ahead let's go over the controls so to control this lamp obviously we have our touch ring where you just turn it on and off and it's very responsive next up on the touch ring we actually have our auto dimming modes so right with my fingers you have to hold it down for a couple of seconds and you can see now we have a green indicator light on that's going to enable us to our screen mode so it's going to auto adjust the light for us depending on our ambient lighting conditions and it's going to optimize it for somebody that wants to look at a screen we can hold it again a couple of seconds and now you can see we have our orange indicator light on letting us know that we have it in our book mode so if you want to look at a book read a book magazine paper anything like that it's optimized for that experience for you depending on the ambient light in your room 
Then we also have our manual control options that can be done right here with the knob. So with this knob, first up, you can see we're adjusting the color temperature. So this has a range from around 2700 Kelvin. So that's going to be your nice, really warm incandescent looking light all the way to around 5700 Kelvin's. That's going to be your nice, cool daylight white light. Then we can also adjust the brightness. This lamp is very, very bright up to a thousand lumens, 1800 lux. And we can also dim it down to around 250 lumens. Now let's go ahead, let's look at those settings with the lights off. Now you can see we got all the studio lights turned off right here and the only light illuminating this room is from our BenQ e-reading lamp. And you may have noticed we actually have an additional one behind us in gold. That is the non-swivel arm version. You can see how bright everything is here on the tabletop. Look, our hands are even washed out on camera. This is so bright at a thousand lumens and we're at our 5,700 Kelvins for our color temperature. First up, let's go ahead. You can see we can adjust that brightness down or we can increase it however we see fit. Press the button in again and we can do the exact same thing now with our color temperature. So you can see there's gonna be our 2,700 Kelvins and then we're gonna go up to our 5,700 Kelvins Again, if you don't want to set it yourself, don't forget about auto dimming. Just hold down for a couple of seconds right here in the ring. You can see we have our green indicator now letting us know we're in our screen mode and you can see how it sets it for you automatically. Let's hold it down again and let's do it for our book mode. There you go. You can see how it adjusts the light given your environment right here if you wanted to read a book with this lamp. I'm not sure you really understand how bright this light is at its maximum brightness. This is fantastic. So if for some reason you're working in a really dark or dimly lit environment, you'll be really happy with the brightness of this light at whatever color temperature you choose. I mean, check that out. What I wanna point out too is it's really soft and diffused, so it's not gonna flicker or anything along those lines. And this light has a 50, yeah, you heard me right, a 50,000 hour rating for the LEDs. So now just for fun, we turned on all of our studio lights except our main video source light so we could try the auto dimming one more time in a different lighting environment. And we have our iPhone here as our test subject. So first up, let's go ahead, let's hold it down. We have our book mode activated. You can see what the book mode lighting looks like. And now we can hold it down again and you can see what our screen mode looks like. What I'm finding here is it seems to want to give you warmer color temperatures for the screen mode compared to some cooler temperatures for the book mode. So overall, this is a fantastic table lamp, desk lamp, end table lamp, nightstand lamp, whatever you wanna use it for, you'll be really happy with the quality of light as well as the build quality and design overall. The swivel arm is exactly what I wanted. I was spoiled by having this lamp, but I really wished we had the ability to move it around a little bit more. And now that's possible with this swivel arm. I just can't stress enough the range that this lamp has. It's really, really impressive. Did I mention too how good it looks and that it's just so well built? I am really pleased with this lamp overall. The only improvements left now is maybe giving us some RGB, but other than that, there's really not much more you can ask out of a table lamp. BenQ has knocked it out of the park with this product.